Let me start by thanking Fauci, the organization which has organized this very important event in a very important time. Uh, second, let me comment on very briefly on my fellow countrymen's uh, evaluation about situation in Georgia. One gave you the apocalyptic picture that everything is going wrong. The other gave the very pinky color picture that everything is very well. In fact, Georgia is really struggling. It's neither backstage sliding not flourishing. It's struggling to become the real democracy in uh, the uh, family of the European uh, democracies. Uh, 2014 might be sadly but fairly evaluated uh, as the year of annexations as we entered into the crisis of the international law and uh, the post-Cold War uh, world order. Uh, following the Crimea and Sevastopol, occupied uh, Abkhazia and Skinwali regions of Georgia have come as next steps of uh, Vladimir Putin in his overarching endeavors uh, to carve Europe, uh, re-establish the spheres of influence and uh, revitalize glory of uh, Russia as claimed uh, repeatedly. Uh, I must say that uh, absence of strategies, which is very obvious in uh, today's discussions, really strikes me as Vladimir Putin, uh, in contrary, continues being very frank about his uh, intentions and active, uh, actively follows a clear-cut recipe. Uh, supports uh, separatism, frees the conflict, intervene under a peacekeeper camouflage, and finally feel free to first occupy and then annex lands uh, of interest. Russians' interests have also been spilled out long ago by Putin himself uh, when he shared his sentiments for the Soviet Union and launched the Eurasia project. Something like an a la modern, uh, more sophisticated USSR. Um, Back in 2008, uh, there was a warning that uh, if Russia was not stopped in Georgia, it would invade uh, Ukraine. Um, I regret uh, it has become a reality, with Moscow pushing each time further and testing the limits of the international community. Now we all agree that uh, Russia's belligerence against Ukraine and Georgia uh, go beyond mere occupation of the neighboring lands. The Russian vision goes much further. Kremlin poses a threat and not only to my country and Ukraine alone, but also for all Europe and uh, beyond. The Crimea annexation also brought with it sound uh, warnings that Russia would continue building up the pattern of annexation unless stopped effectively. And seven months after, Russia freed its hands for Georgia's occupied Abkhazia and Skinwali regions. This time, Putin acted even smarter and paved the way for another seizure in a relatively low-profile manner through signing the so-called agreement between the Russian Federation and the de facto government of Abkhazia and uh, preparing for signing the similar agreement with the uh, de facto leaders of uh, Tskinwali region. In this, let me stress that the urge of the condemnation and the uh, execution of further decisions to stop Russia's uh, action is largely increasing. If we allow Kremlin to continue the tendency of annexations, we will further uh, fuel the aggressive policy and give a green light to more of land grabbing. Herein, it is fair to say that the sanctions put in place in response to the annexation of Crimea did in effect uh, hit the target. Russian economy suffers, it will suffer, I agree, if it goes down to the 40 uh, US dollars, dollars per barrel, um, and it will go. Uh, concerns. Uh, uh, are raised and the peacekeepers, so-called peacekeepers in uh, peacekeeper Russia feels mildly saying a discomfort of being labeled an aggressor. However, as Putin further dares the international community, the sanctions should not only remain but also be intensified.
We are not in favor of military confrontation, but we have to be consistent in our decisions, actions which must follow up on our values and commitments. We should name things as they are and do not wait and see for next annexation, aggression, and uh, we should actively stop in Russia, which already plays dangerously on multiple scenes and keeps its eye now on Baltic states while enjoying this muscle play. In so saying, I would underestimate neither their intentions nor their guts to do it, as Russia's so-called vacationers have effectively turned armed. Therefore, if we want to send a message to Russia in a language if it understands, I mean Putin himself, the European Union, NATO and the international community in general should make decisions regardless of Russia's pressure. Progress towards EU and NATO membership is the best course to provide predictable neighbors and communicate that Russia's policies of blackmailing, occupation and annexation are not tolerated and are entirely unacceptable. As Riga summit approaches, let me put forward two of our major expectations. First, it is a decision to grant to Georgia and Ukraine the visa-free travel uh, with the European Union, which will yield a number of positive outcomes. It will be a good demonstration of upholding a merit-based approach. Such a deliverable will be a strong message to our people that the European path, although requiring hard work and sacrifices, brings concrete results. And last but not least, visa-free movement with the EU offers an attractive incentive to our citizens in the occupied regions between integration and isolation. Second, we uh, were hearing and we always hear the very promising statements that the association agreement is, the not, is not the end goal of the cooperation. And it is a very good statement and that, that, that there should be the light in the end of this tunnel. Uh, I welcome these kind of statements, but we uh, really urge the European community to make the decisions now to grant to Georgia, Moldova and Ukraine the European perspective. In this regard, let me clarify that none of us has any illusion that this decision shortens our path uh, to membership. We fully comprehend that there is a long road ahead. But we need this strong message and need this message now. Continue, of course, supporting the reforms, implementation, implementation of the modernization plan or so-called Europeanization of our countries if of, is of vital importance. Why? Because I agree uh, with all uh, um, uh, evaluations of the warfare, yes, we are uh, losing the warfare and anti-European uh, propaganda to the, uh, to the Russian propaganda. I must say, I must admit that uh, Putin's propaganda is much more sophisticated than it was in old Andropov or Suslov's times, really. And um, we need this support uh, and we need this support in real programs, in real programs and today because we see more and more mushrooming organizations, NGOs now in Georgia uh, distributing the myths. Our Ukrainian, Moldovan friends have seen this and they know the, uh, the results of uh, these kind of actions. On NATO side, so we've been always told that uh, if we uh, invite you to the NATO membership, then they may m make a move towards the annexation of Georgia's territories. Oh, last point. Yes, yeah, they are already annexing Georgian territories. So it is time to demonstrate to Vladimir Putin that the one-man show is over. And then I believe that he will realize this, and I believe that he will get used himself that there is a different order in the world. Thank you very much.